I was so desperate to finish this uh, 50-50 here. <laughs> anyway, even though I wasn't in the right position. I almost had him, though. But anyways, man, let's talk about fasting in the month of Ramadan while training jujitsu, right? Um, you know, some people think it's crazy to even fast, right? Uh, but for for us who's who are used to it, um, you know, it's not it's not crazy. Um, I've been very active uh, in the month of Ramadan. I'm throughout my life playing soccer from a very young age to even playing football, American football, <laughs> um, in high school. So, and there was a season where actually the month of Ramadan hit us uh, in in football. So, and I was actually fat. I, I kept my fast still, but like I said, I've I've been doing this at a very young age, so I'm really used to it. Don't get me wrong. Um, as the month of Ramadan goes on, your body does get weaker. Um, I remember in football, like that first the first half, the first like say fifteen days. I was still able to like engage, but like at the 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 um the 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 second half of the fifteen days basically almost, um I was I was significantly weaker for sure that was very noticeable, but what I'm trying to say is is doable, so for jujitsu, it's really best to train right when you're about to cut your fast. That's the best or, um in the morning. Eat a lot in the morning for suhoor, so you can have energy to train in the morning and possibly able to get a couple rolls in, some light rolls, and that's how you can stay on top of your game till Ramadan is over.